Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. I'm gonna show you some advanced, advanced as in the first time you've ever seen it in your lifetime stuff. Please watch the video. I'm gonna talk a little bit in the beginning, but pay attention. I'm gonna show three, two of the most advanced ways you can get a rear naked choke that no one's ever really done before, as well as quickly a neck crank when you can't get in that rear naked choke. So this is really important concepts. I'm really happy today, guys. I, I saw all Japan matches earlier today. It was really fun. And realcatchwrestling.com is now one of my many domain names. So besides catchjitsu.com, you go to realcatchwrestling.com. I've been using that name for a very long time, but others have been using it. I'm the one who's been using it a long time. Realcatchwrestling.com is not mine. Guys, today what I'm going to show you is how to get that rear naked choke when a guy has good defense and is peeling the hand. If you're going against a brown or a black belt, it's very easy for him to defend. And especially in MMA or Sogo Kakatogi, they call it in Japan, where I am, with the MMA gloves, it's really hard. That's why you see a lot of like kind of bad rear naked chokes in UFC and MMA, because the hand's like this. Really, it shouldn't be, but it's hard with the MMA glove thickness to get a good choke behind. So, um, the first one comes from Damien Maya, one of the best, if not the best, Jiu Jitsu guy in all of MMA. I love watching Damien Maya. Um, he only did it for a quick second showing Henzo Gracie the other day at this big seminar and um, I picked up on it and I don't think anyone else is going to so I'm probably going to have the first video on how to do it in all of the world hopefully and you'll enjoy it. Okay, so Damien Mayo kind of like brought it up as a question to Henzo Gracie. They were promoting one of the Gracies to 8th degree the other day and let's turn this way a little bit. Okay, and what he was showing was right, a lot of times, especially in MMA, I can get here, he's not too worried about it. And here, we can start in the backpack lasso, yeah, relax, 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 and here. But what he is going to be strong about defense is pinching this, and then eventually when I go for the rear naked choke, go ahead, defend, 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 yep, he peels two on one, okay? So especially with MMA gloves, even Damon Maya is hard for him to get the rear naked choke when he's one of the best in the world. So, but you can get to here, you can get your four fingers relaxed. You can get your four fingers in here and clam down. And now guys in MMA or, or black belts are maybe too tough to get a one-handed choke, similar to a basic cross-collar choke. But if that doesn't work, what you do is kind of catch wrestling style, really, what Damian and Maya was really trying to show Henzo the other day was you can come here and grab your own elbow and twist and it becomes a totally legitimate choke. See this guy's not going to let me attach enough and go defend and peel down. So when he's done that he's going back to control positions and stuff and he figured out a way where I would cover this with my elbow, go to my other elbow. And now, the best part of this choke is not only am I going to twist, which is what Damian Maya was showing, but I'm going to make it better by turning my spine to the right and breathing in very fast. And that's a little something he wasn't doing, so he can make it even better. So, Mama san, uh, angle Coco here, please. So, guys, you're here. It's really hard to get a rear naked choke, a sleeper hold. So you can come over. He's not going to stop that, that and grab your other elbow. Now, besides what Damon Maya was doing here, no, back here, Mama son, I'm going to turn my spine, move my spine to the right, the opposite direction, like counter twerk. Move my spine and fill up. And now it's real choke. Especially that, that little addition I figured out this afternoon. This is the first time I'm doing this choke. But I figured out, instead of just this, okay, which you're here and you're doing this, I'm going to go, I'm going to move my spine like a counter twist. Okay, so this is like an amazing technique. Um, one more time. Back hack. Get in here. We're fighting. I go for the rear naked choke. Defend, defend. Oh, and we're back here. And I can't see his hand fighting, hand fighting, hand fighting, hand fighting. But what I can do is cover here, okay, and then, okay. Now, this isn't a totally new concept. In catch wrestling, we, you see, I've had videos for years on like double arm weave or catch wrestling 
key lock. So, um, it's not a totally new concept. Can I Bart, use you for this because his back's bad? I go, uh, Trudeau? Yeah. So, Eric Paulson, who was a Shudo fighter, and I also learned Shudo, besides the catch wrestling I learned from Gene LaBelle and Dan Severin, um, I kind of came up in the Shudo system and going to Shudo classes, official Shudo classes, as well as training with my best friend Ryan Bowe, who is number one ranked Shudo fighter. Eric Paulson has showed this. When you flatten a guy out, it still might be hard to get that rear naked choke. He's tucking his head. If you just do a cross face to try and hurt a guy, a baby's going to tap. But a professional fighter's not going to tap right here. I don't have torque. It's not the same as a drag back neck crank uh, in the body relationships to the ground. So this would usually not tap them out. And the reason for that is your shoulder is tight with muscles, all different muscles, ligaments, it's all too tight on most people, especially big guys. So it doesn't go as far as it really should. It can ballistically go that far, but if I push it, it doesn't go that far enough. But if I'm here on a cross face and I grab this elbow, now it goes farther. See here? And then I grab my elbow and it goes farther. This is basically the same thing Damian Maya was doing. The Maya thing's a real choke. This is a neck crank that Eric Paulson has showed before. But I wanted to give credit where credit's due and see how, hey man, stuff in all grappling is good. Use what's useful. Jiu-Jitsu, catch wrestling, catch jitsu, my style, real catch wrestling, it's all good. So you would be here, grab your elbow, and then I can twist. Okay, so I just wanted to show, when you got a guy flat, now I usually camel clutch, but this is also a good option. Thank you. Okay, switch again. So, um, next, guys, is another way of getting rid of the rear naked choke when it's difficult to get. So, what do people usually allow? You get the backpack, you did a good job, and you can usually get here. If you can get tight, that's awesome, but usually you can get to here. Okay, and they allow that. Now, if I can get hand control or come over and trap that arm with my leg, BJ Penn style, even better. Don't be dead. Be left. <laughs> okay? So we're here. Left. Wake up. So we're here. Okay? Now, I managed to get to here. To my one hand and here. Okay, if I can't finish this choke, what I'm going to do is take this hand quickly out, and I'm going to give him a little chiropractic adjustment. Shove my fist up his spine. I can one hand choke there, or rear naked choke there. So, okay. okay, so what I'm doing slowly, relax, here, I'm going to take this hand out, bring it in between us, put this between our bodies, use our body as force, and drive it up his spine. Now look, I put this right to the base of his neck, and here's a very good choke. But if that wasn't enough, which it really should be in a lot of positions, it depends on how good his defense is, I, right away, he cannot stop me from getting, the, my elbow is behind his body. He can't reach back and stop me from getting to the rear naked choke position. It's amazing. There's a little something I came up with two years ago. Uh, I kind of piggybacked off of something Brawley Ostima showed, who's getting really good at biomechanics. So I'm big catch wrestling jujitsu, but also Russian martial arts and biomechanics, all martial arts. I'm gonna come up this spine. I'm gonna put this between us, and I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna put my hand to the back here and kind of push his neck forward, which even in a one-handed choke, it's going to push him forward into the blade, into the choke, right? So we're here, and I'm going to come here, here, here. Oh. <laughs> so, let me, uh, I haven't tried it, this isn't, like I really just played with this once a couple years ago. Let's say we're back here. Don't be that really, yeah, there you go. So we're here. And I get to this. Maybe I can work if we see, maybe he sits up, try to sit up. Sit, sit this, up, 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 this way. Try to move your head this way. Up, buddy, buddy. Yeah, so he's doing this. That's a good opportunity to put this fist in between and, oh, okay. Let me show, switch, switch. Let me do it to you once. A couple times to you if it's okay. So, Here, here, I get to here. Then I'm gonna come out. 
Boom. Now watch this move. He, if that's not enough, and then on my rear naked choke. What I'm getting to is this position. Boom. This position, rotate like a rolling pin to make dough. Here, and this pushes forward to the right below the base of his skull. Here, wham. Here, wham. This is just good biomechanics. As opposed to reaching and he blocks your hand, hand fights, peels two on one. The typical rear naked choke way. Everyone's got good defense, especially with MMA gloves. But this is behind him. And if it's here in this relationship, he cannot stop this little weave. That's the secret, my friends. That was for you, Hunter Gracie. Anyway, um, I'm here. Okay, ready? Here, here. Now, he's defending, he's defending. I go for you. He defends. Whoa. And, oh, here, and I come up. Here. Here. Sorry. <laughs> I got to show two more times, and then we're done. So now here, we're going to take you back and try to sit up. Yeah, up this way. So here's a good time to put it in. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> one last time. This would also possibly work face down. I haven't tried it yet. Go to your knees, turtle. Yeah. Guys, I'm not moving the best today because I got really bruised ribs from sparring at Korean Top Team the other day. We're torn cartilage. So, so whether. I got him all the way flattened out or not. Let's say, let's say I got him flattened out. And I got the one hand in here, but he's defending pretty good. And he's defending pretty good, and we're not doing that neck crank I showed earlier. Really. I'm going to bring this hand here, here, see, just by putting this into the back gives a lot of leverage. So I'm here, usually this will work, but like, grab defend, 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 defend. Yeah, the one, grip, grip. My hand, grip my hand. Okay, so you're here. And it allowed, allowed me to get the choke. It was a little ugly, I wasn't totally connected. But by doing this, I got connected enough to get the choke. Get one more angle. So you're going to defend, defend. So I'm here, one hand. He's stopping the rear naked choke from happening. Okay, I'm going to keep this in. We're fighting, we're fighting. And he goes for this, so my other hand's free. I go bing, 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 and MMA. And I bring this up to the back, okay, and I slide it up his spine, here, or if not, and there's the finish. So hopefully you guys saw that. Um, so I'm bringing you stuff from the best, Damien Maya, Eric Paulson, uh, a little bit of something I got from Brawley of Steamy, and, and like I went with crazy two years ago, but I'm finally putting it on video. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep it on in mind. Put it all together. Go to realcatchwrestling.com. And thank you very much. I'll catch you on the flip side.